So here we have the Mini Countryman Automatic on a 17 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with those three individually folding rear seats to increase this space even further should you wish to. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well we've seen the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard. So let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer in the middle. And on the right-hand side, the fuel gauge. Also in the middle there, you can see the total miles of this car, which is 17,593. You can change the information displayed above that by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk for various bits of trip computer information or the digital readout for the speedometer that you see being displayed now. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. And on the right hand side, stereo and phone controls. Now, the phone controls can only be used after such time as you paired your phone up, which is done over on the central screen just here uh, under the telephone icon. All the movement I'm making on the screen is being done using this dial. You can turn it, you can push it down, select various things. And also uh, you've got buttons uh, above that that you can use should you wish to. Back up to the screen. Uh, when it comes to music in this car, we can listen to the radio, of course. And you'll see there we have FM, AM and DAB radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do under that multimedia heading. There's plenty of ways to do that. So we have uh, auxiliary input, USB input, and we can stream our music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. So once you've paired your phone, obviously you can make and receive phone calls, but you will also be able to listen to your music. On top of that, this car has got satellite navigation. There's a full video that shows exactly how this works, which you can find both on our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the uh, passenger temperature, the driver temperature, the fan speed up and down. You can determine where you would like the air to be distributed. When you're happy with the settings that you've uh, selected here, this button will turn the air conditioning off and back on again or hit auto, the car will now take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain the two temperatures that you've asked for. To override it, simply press the auto button again. We have heated driver and passenger seats, both with three different heat settings each. Beneath that, we can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is off, or back on again. Over this side, we can turn off the traction control and this one will start and stop the engine. So you just need to make sure the key is in the car with you, uh, in your bag, in your pocket, wherever you want to put it, and then hit that tab to start and stop the engine. We have a 12 volt charging socket, as well as the auxiliary and USB inputs, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. And then finally, this uh, button, hoop, whatever you want to call it, just underneath the gear lever here, will enable us to change the driving setup of the car. So we can um, shift it to sport mode, and you'll see that it's gone red around the dial area. Yellow is mid mode and green is green mode. And you literally shift it up and down like this. It will also tell you up here what mode you put it in. So sport, mid and green. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.